Good afternoon, YouTube. Um, making this video to address some of the issues that some people have had in the past, where they have an hour meter and it goes bad, and they don't know a way how to set it back to the hours that they had. I've seen a lot of forums about that, and I myself have looked into it until I find um, a simple solution to it. So, if it serves you any purpose, I'll show you how to do it. And it's very simple, actually. Many of the things that some people suggested was to get a wave generator, but the majority or most of the people don't know how that how that operates. So it doesn't make sense to suggest something that is time consuming, um, costs money as well, just to set back the hours on an hour meter, which is just not worth it. But I'm sharing this with you because I found a simple solution and I think it's gonna help you. And this is a simple way on how to do it. So typically you need something that generates waves. That's true. Um, but you don't know exactly what does. Some suggest you can go to a TV repair shop um, for the guy to do it for you. But again, that's inconvenient and you know it's more hassle than it's really worth. So what you need for this is actually a household item that you already have. And one of those things that you can use is a charger. Charger generates waves as well to charge the battery. You can read them as amps per hour um, or gigahertz, whatever type of charge it is that you have. One of the things is though that if you wrap this thing around the, the thing right here, it's not going to read it because it's not a coil. It's not a it's not spark plug current, so it's not strong enough to read it. But if you cut through it until it shows and you put it over the charger, then you can have yourself the signal that the engine the engine would be sending if it was turned on, which is what you have here. So it's reading 8,880 what would be revolution per minute remember that this you can set it also to read for two stroke and four stroke by pressing the r1 this is stuck so i can show you on this one but check out the hours that it has 51.8 hours i'm currently doing this for a bike that i have myself which this thing crapped out at about 150 hours so i got quite a while to go but set it down you put the wire over the the exposed area right here. Make sure it's like it's on like that, and you should get a reading from the hour meter showing something like that. That should tell you that it's running, and you can measure the hours or so. Now, if you want something that will last you a while because it seems like these cheap tag hour meters don't last a long time they crap out at about 100 hours which is exactly their intended purpose because these are actually meant to be for you to measure the engine oil interval which you're gonna change it and then you know it's probably why one of those things why it's not meant to last a long time because it's not meant to measure how long your engine is gonna last or how many hours it's only meant for you to set it to change the oil but i have a better quality item that i got off of amazon it's um it's called a uh, multi-function hour meter you can see it right here um, i'm gonna put in the link uh, in the description the link so you can get it because the actual name is not on here but i'm pretty sure if you look up that name you'll find it it looks just like this all right, just set it up. It has a lot of menus. So total hours, partial running time, max RPM, um, the stroke, the range, the maximum revolutions that your engine would be allowed to rev. Of course, it doesn't limit it, but it will send you um, an RPM warning which is right there. I have mine set at 9,000 maximum. It's not a sport bike, it's a regular touring bike. 
this is the service change hours. I set it up at 30. The voltage, 12.5, or let you know the voltage that's being regulated in your your bike or engine, whatever you have, and such. It's, it's actually a really good um, hour meter. I recommend it because it's quite expensive, but it does last. I have a friend that's told me he's measured over 6,000 hours on his engine with this one. I've had bad luck with these. Again, because these are cheap, this, this only calls, you can get it for as cheap as $5. You can't expect it to last thousands of hours. But even on this one, it will still work. That one, this is a little bit more difficult and different, but it's pretty much the same concept. So yellow wire would be rolled over your um, spark plug wire, as such as you would with this one. The only thing is, this one is the same thing. If you want to measure the hours and set it up on this one, you would have to do the same thing that I'm doing on the other one. And with that, you'll get a reading. So this one's set to be for four stroke, and I'm seeing 2,700 RPM, which means that this one is probably set to a two stroke, perhaps. But this one's a lot better quality, much better. And this is some of the issues that I've seen some people have, where they look for ways to set their digital hour meter back to what it was. I had issues with that myself, so I found this out and I'm sharing the knowledge with you. Hope this helps you a lot, and you know if you like the video, like, subscribe, comment, ask me something. I'll probably know the answer to it, and if I do, I'll make sure to get back to you. Thank you.